Good morning and welcome back to City Line. We are live every Thursday morning and this morning is February 15th. Hope that you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. We have a great hour ahead of us. Later on, we'll be talking with the Sons of Italy. They're here to talk about uh, what they do here in Tacoma, the history of how they got started, and a wonderful Italian dinner that you can uh, buy tickets for and uh, take part in. Also, South Sound Go Red for Women uh, Luncheon is here to talk about uh, the actual Go Red uh, for Women program and how you can be aware of the uh, American Heart Association Go Red Month and some healthy tips to keep you uh, with your loved ones. And then Sister Cities International Film Festival is here to talk about uh, the Grand Cinema and some of the films that they show and of course what we do with our Sister Cities. You don't want to miss that. And then with me right now is the Boys and Girls Club Youth of the Year. And if you are a regular viewer to City Line. Um, they were with us um, about a month ago and they came on and talked about uh, this program and uh, some of the participants. So we asked them back and here they are. So please join me in welcoming Elvin Buku. You are the Director of Operations for the Boys and Girls Clubs of South Puget Sound. Welcome mm -hmm. back, Elvin. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Love Good the card. Good to see you too. Lo love the whole cardigan kind of. Thank you very much. Mr. Rogers look. I if dress you will. myself. <laughs> well, you dress yourself. You have grown up a lot since you were here. Last <laughs> that's year. true. That's true. Right. This beautiful woman next to you, Kayla Ente, you are the 2018 DA Gagne Branch Youth of the Year. Welcome, Kayla. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you. And this beautiful woman, Ms. Jade Cooper down there. She you are the 2018 Al Davies Branch Youth yeah. of the Year. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. All right, let's get into it because this is serious business. So again, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Last time you were here with Carrie. Yes. Um, and you talked about the impact mm -hmm. uh, of your programs. Tell us about the, again, those are mostly after school programs yep. that we talked about, how it got started, what happens during the winter break, mm -hmm. all of those things that really go on inside the doors. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the Youth of the Year program and how it impacts the community. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Youth of the Year, there is no more impactful program. I believe I um, than what we do with our youth of the year. Uh, it's the premier recognition program for Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, it is a competition. So it tiers basically everybody who is a youth of the year representing their club is already a winner. They've already uh, won the local competition. What we're celebrating in a week is the org wide competition. So we have eight representatives competing for the title of Boys and Girls Clubs of South Puget Sound Youth of the wow. Year. Wow. Should they win that, they move on to the Washington State competition, then a regional, all the way to the national competition and potentially the White House. So it's it's the highest level program we have um, with regard to recognition. And it, it is so impressive, this program. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we have a history of of the Boys and Girls Club uh, on the comfy couch. And I recall, I think a couple years ago, uh, you brought back uh, one of the uh, youth of the year that had gone mm -hmm. to Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. and we had a picture of her with President Obama, and she yes. also had the coin that she had. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, it's not fluff. No. This is serious stuff. So let's talk about, and we're going to show pictures. We mm -hmm. have eight youth of the year total, mm -hmm. as you said. So let's go through these pictures, yep. and let's introduce them to our City Line Absolutely. audience. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, that's the group. Uh, incredible group this year. We have... It, it's a very diverse group for many reasons. I mean, different communities, different ages, grades, family experiences all over the place. Uh, but uh, it's we have Kayla uh, Beautiful who is sitting on the Kayla. couch with me uh, from our Gagne branch, as she mentioned. We have Jade from our Al Davies branch. Outstanding picture also. Mm -hmm. As Benjamin, he's uh, out in North Mason. So he's our kind of furthest from Tacoma. Uh, that's Carlo over at our Lakewood club. We have Dylan from Bremerton. Then we have Labria, uh, who is our east side candidate. And then Savannah from South Kitsap. And then I think this is our last Taylor from uh, our South Pierce County branch. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I would not want to be one of the judges that decides because the, the intelligence and the intensity and the passion and the hope jumps mm -hmm. off 
that photo of, of all of you. And you look at these, these Youth of the Year and you're like, they're going places. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So first off, congratulations to Kayla and Jade, both of you, uh, for being named Youth of the Year. As, as Alvin said, you've already competed in your branch. Mm -hmm. So now you're on, now, now you're in the loop and you're on your way. So I'm gonna start with you, Kayla. What has it been like for you to go through the Youth of the Year program and, and to process this this past several months? Work-wise, um, I finished my essays early, so my mentor, Miss Ashley, was able to go back and revise my papers with me, and so it hasn't been stressful with that. Um, I feel like the group of us all together, we get along very well, so social-wise, it's nice. We've done Secret Santa for the first time, mm -hmm. so that was really nice time with, to spend with them. I love that. <laughs> and Jade, for you, what has it been like going through the Youth of the Year process? Uh, well, going through the process, it's been it's been stressful, but it's also been exciting because um, I've learned to become more confident in public speaking, and I've gone through interviews, which are two things that I know I can benefit on later in, in life. Um, but I've also learned about myself going through the process. So I've learned about I've learned to gain a sense of responsibility and independence in my work ethics. Good, good. I mean, it's, it's you know, this, this process of having a mentor and then getting feedback, that's a scary thing. I mean, feedback sometimes can make you feel like it's, it's critical, but it's really not, as you said, I mean, in terms of preparing you for the rest of your life and how wonderful that you get somebody who is so invested in you to give you that feedback. Um, what, let's talk about, and Jade, I'll ask you this first, what kind of impact has the Boys and Girls Club had on your life? Uh, well, the club's impacted me by providing me with mentors and relationships that I continue to have to today. Um, going to the club every day, knowing that I have people that I can talk to and they'll listen, it inspired me to want to be a mentor later on in my life to provide them with that same comfort that I felt and that same love and support that I got from my mentors at the club. Yeah, absolutely. How old were you when you first walked into your Boys and Girls Club? Six. You were 16, <laughs> and I can ask you because you're young. How old were you? 16. <laughs> so for the past 10 years, yes. you, you have been a part of that Boys and Girls Club. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. <laughs> All right, Ms. Kayla, so how has this impacted your life? Well, growing up, I didn't have good father figures in my yes. life, and so at the Boys and Girls Club, there were staff there to be father figures for me, and there were staff there to teach me that I am worth something and that I am a confident person and I was given a voice to speak up for myself. Wow, outstanding. So tell me, how, same question, how old were you when you first walked into the Boys and Girls Club? I was around seven. And you're 16, 17 now? I'm 18. <gasps> 18, okay, so the elder on the couch here. Right. 18, my goodness. So uh, that's just incredible because both of you have become you know, the anchor of those clubs in the sense of how long you've been there. When you were 10 or 11, did either one of you kind of think, hmm, maybe I want to be Youth of the Year, Kayla? No, I didn't know about it uh -huh. when I was at that age, but my oldest sister did Youth of the Year, and that like motivated me to want to become Youth of the Year also. There we go. What about you, Jade? Actually, I did, um, because okay. I remember going to the club, and our Youth of the Year at the time would do their speeches, and I'd be like, oh, I want to do that later on, and so now I'm here. There you are. I love that tenacity. So last question for both of you, uh, and I jokingly said this to you in the green room, that you probably are so tired of being asked this. <laughs> but what I remember my daughter going, if I have to have one more family dinner and someone asks me, what are my plans for after high school, I'm going to scream. But what are your plans for after high school? So Kayla, what, what are you envisioning for yourself? Um, well, I just got accepted into UWT. So. <gasps> Go dogs. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. So I plan on attending there and I hope to major in education because I want to be a high school English teacher and also give the youth a voice as well. You would be so outstanding. <laughs> Thank you. I can just see you in there, you know, teaching to kill a mockingbird, no problem. <laughs> what about you, Miss Missy? Um, well, I'm a junior, so I'm hoping to uh, go to Georgia State University, and where I want to uh, major in business and minor in marketing, and hopefully make a career in um, artist and repertoire, where I find artists and help develop them in the music business. Oh, love that. <laughs> okay, so I can say, well, I knew them when. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so, Alvin, let's Let's talk about uh, the support that you've received mm -hmm. from sponsors in the community for Absolutely. the program. Because as we know, in that big statement of nobody does it alone, mm -hmm. these two have not done it alone. Alone, The total, the eight of them have not done it alone Absolutely, in many, yeah. many ways. But who has helped 
the Boys and Girls Club along the way to make this program possible. Yeah, there are plenty of hands on this program. Um, we couldn't do, I mean, we, we're proud of our process. And so thinking uh, Fred Meyer, uh, the Dimmer Family Foundation, yes. Patriot Fire, and then US Oil um, for helping out with the program as a whole. Uh, but there are a ton, we, we do mock interviews, we have volunteer judges. So in every community, we have representation for people helping out with this program. So thanking everybody in the community who's helped us. Um, also want a special shout out to all of their program directors in the staff. Yes. That, that's something, there's nobody alongside with them closer than their program directors. And that's something that they put a lot of time and effort um, into that relationship and help and support. So yeah. um, in addition to their families. Uh, there we go, I'm like the big family. Which is also great. Yep. Uh, shout out to my mom and dad. My mom and dad. Hey mom and dad. Yep. Uh, but yeah, family is definitely a part of this program. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's really a celebration. So next week we're gonna be celebrating Eight incredible young people. I love that. Okay, so so so, um, so for somebody who has not been to this event before, mm -hmm. in this last two minutes, mm -hmm. I want you to describe the event from the moment they walk in the door. Yeah, from the moment you walk in the door, what we're looking for is community. We're looking for family, and we're looking for recognition of a lot of hard work. I mean, uh, you know, our youth of the year are walking in. Minded spirit is going north and south, kind of thing. Yes. And so, really, when they're on stage. You have about 500 to 550 people, you know, where they're going to be hearing a lot of stories. Um, the event itself is is a nice formal dinner. Um, there will be a fundraising aspect to it, but um, yeah, like like I said, recognition and celebration is what the event yeah. is all about. And then at the end of the evening, do they announce who's won? They do, and now yes. us as staff, we will actually find out on that same day. So oh that's, my gosh. That's hidden like subtle win for us we don't know who's going to win until it's announced on that night with them so we get to be surprised also that is incredible mm -hmm. and i love the fact that you're doing a secret santa and that you had the group photo. Right. this is the first year i've seen the group photo mm -hmm. it looks like the cover of vanity fair it's, that shot yeah. does it's so good and it's so it speaks volumes about the unity and the collaboration mm -hmm. even though it's a competition that you still are the Boys and Girls Club family. Absolutely. I want to say first off thank you to mm -hmm. you and all of your team that makes this happen um, for just the dedication and the 24-7 that you put into this program. It would not happen without that written across your heart. Awesome. So thank Elvin, you. thank you to mm -hmm. you and your and your team. Mm -hmm. You too, your future is so bright you gotta wear shades. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Thank you so much for all the hard work and dedication that you've put in. I know there's been times when both of you have wanted to quit and it's been too much, um, but you are running the race and I can't wait to see what happens on that night. So I wanna say, I'm not gonna say good luck, I'm gonna say break a leg, how's that? <laughs> there you go. And the winner, back on the couch. There you go. We'll have a date, all right? Sounds good. All right. When we come back after just a little bit of musical chairs, we will have the Sister Cities International Film Festival here. You don't wanna miss that, we'll be right back.